Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to the hobby. We are back with another full Paradox Rift booster box and I am really enjoying this set right now. After looking at the cards inside of this set, I 100% agree with some of you guys when you say this set is underrated. It is really, really solid. There's a lot of cards that I want from this set. There's not one specific chase card. We've already mentioned that. I would say that's the most challenging thing about this set is that it's missing that one major chase card. However, the medium sized chase cards, there's a ton of them and there's a lot that I want to personally collect. There's the Roaring Moon card, which I think looks really solid. We already saw the Iron Valiant card. Ooh, we got ourselves a Frost Last EX on the back of this first booster pack. And when you're talking about the special illustration rare, there's a bunch of them that I would personally really want. Besides the Roaring Moon, besides the Iron Valiant, there's also the Altaria EX, as well as the Garchomp EX. Both of those are really solid as well. And on the full art trainer side, I think there's some really good one. Specifically Parasol Lady, I think that one is really gorgeous. It's a very solid special illustration rare. Even the full art version of it is really good. The Mela card is another one where both the full art and special illustration rare version are both really good. And of course, there's also the baby illustration rare, something like the Swell Blue card, which we've already seen. That one's really gorgeous. And I've got to say, Steelix, the Steelix card is probably my favorite so far for the smaller illustration rares. It's really, really good. I love the Steelix card. It really showcases the world of Pokemon when you can see some of the Pokemon actually working in the world. The way that Steelix is used in a construction industry, that, that just makes total sense. It's such a cool card and I love the art on it. So that's one that I'm definitely gonna chase. And it's gonna be really interesting because when a set like this drops, everyone starts picking up the special illustration rares and they think that those are gonna be the most expensive ones or the most sought after. But after a couple of weeks when the prices settle down, it's actually some of these smaller illustration rare cards that actually spike through the roof because they are actually very challenging pulls because there's just so many of them and you only get a couple of the illustration rares inside of every single booster box. For example, the Magikarp illustration rares, just a basic illustration rare. That one has gone through the roof. It's like, what, a $60 card because, ooh, we got ourselves the full art Garchomp EX right there. That is super legit, very nice card to pull. But yeah, the uh, Magikarp one is really solid and there's a couple of other illustration rares, just regular illustration rares that are just really popular. Some of the ones from 151 are ones like Squirtle, Bulbasaur and Char Charmander, those are all really solid right now because people want the full set and it can be very challenging when the illustration rares are really, really quite rare because there's a bunch of them inside of every single set and you only get a couple from a booster box. From what I've seen, you're expecting around four, maybe five illustration rare from a booster box. If you get more than five illustration rare, that's a very hot booster box. And so that's great news. So I think Paradox Rift next to 151 might be my favorite set of the year. I would say it's definitely more enjoyable or more fun than uh, Scarlet and Violet Base, as well as Peldea Evolve. And let's be honest, Obsidian Flames is a little bit of a whimper. It, it kind of fizzled out, right? With Obsidian Flames, unless you're a huge Charizard fan, I really don't think there's much in there for you. So I would actually say Paradox Rift might be my favorite you know, non-special set of the year. Because when you're talking about special set, you got 151, which is kind of a special set. It didn't come with a booster box and you got Crown Zenith. So 151 and Crown Zenith are both really, really strong. But Paradox Rift is a solid third placer and that's not bad when you're talking about all the sets from this year. So I might be really interested in cracking open a lot more of this set going forward because I just really enjoy the cards inside of the set and that does matter, right? You have to enjoy the art that you're looking at and there's enough interesting chase cards specifically from this set that I'm happy to open up a couple more booster boxes of it. So I'm gonna be really interested to see what we pull from today's video. We got ourselves the Porygon Z, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that illustration rare art. 
just the regular illustration rare. Well, I mean, I can't call it regular, but it is not a special illustration rare, something like an EX card, but still really, really solid. That is such a cool art, right? I would be very happy to pull that card, regardless of price. The illustration rares can sometimes be very cheap. There's actually a ton of illustration rares that are under $1. And I would say picking up any illustration rare for under $1 is absolutely worth it. You can get yourself a super gorgeous binder at a very, very affordable price. But yeah, I think there's enough cool looking cards. Like I know Groudon's got an illustration rare that looks really good as well. So I think this one, my favorite standard set of the year by far. I don't even think it's close. Um, if you guys like Paldea Evolve or City in Flames or even base set Scarlet and Violet more than Paradox Rift, I completely understand that. But I think there's enough flavor here in terms of the gimmick with the past and the future, as well as enough interesting and cool looking illustration rares that it's a fun set to open. I think Paradox Rift might have it. So that's actually really, really interesting because a lot of people think this set is gonna kind of tank. If this ends up being an $80 booster box by the holiday season, I am okay with that because that just means I get to open up a bunch of really fun Pokemon cards for a very affordable price. What is that? If you take $80 and you divide it by 36 booster packs, you're pretty much getting close to what? $2.50 a booster pack. It's cheaper than $3, that's for sure. So that's a really, really good deal. I would absolutely do that. So we'll see if this set truly does tank which means it's underappreciated i'm happy to pick up a case of it and crack it open over my holiday season because this is an enjoyable set for me personally if you're looking to pick up singles check out tcg player official affiliate of this channel using the link down in the description you can help support us and tcg player is actually what i personally use to track a lot of prices on pokemon cards they have the best deals on singles and whenever you want to know what the market price on any sealed product any pokemon card or anything of that nature they will always let you know what the best deals on those are because the prices on tcg player are the most competitive ones every now and again you may find a better deal elsewhere if a special t store is doing a holiday deal or a special sale but in general the tcg player market price is just what people use when they want to know what a going product or a going card is currently going for and if you practice what i preach which is buying singles i do open up a lot of booster packs but whenever i can't find a card i do pick it up on the secondary market which ends up usually being tcg player which is honestly a very solid system so check them out down in the description and we're moving on with a lot more paradox rift booster packs a booster box if you've never opened one before, you're missing out. I would highly recommend cracking open a booster box because it's a little bit of a marathon. Every now and again, when you buy a collection box and you're opening up 10, 12 booster packs, that's a lot. But a booster box is 36 booster packs and it is usually chock full of fun. We got ourselves a mini card. Man, what a cool looking card. If you told me this is where Pokemon cards was headed in 2023, I might not have believed you five years ago. What a gorgeous looking card. And it's for a Pokemon that is relatively unpopular or unknown. It's not anyone's fan favorite, but boy, what a gorgeous card. They could not have done that Pokemon better justice. It's a great looking card. Same with the Porygon Z. I think that did Porygon Z justice as well. There's just no other way to say it. Some of these illustration rares just leave me absolutely speechless. And I know some people are skipping on Paradox Rift simply because it might not be for them or they're still stuck on 151, which is completely fair. And even though I am sponsored by the Pokemon company, I am in no way beholden to them. You guys have been to my channel, then you probably know I say a lot of stuff that probably doesn't get me a lot of fans at the Pokemon company because I do critique them for a lot of their smaller business practices. I critique the quality on Pokemon cards. I critique um, how the Pokemon Center operates. You name it, and I probably complain about it. In fact, some people think I complain too much, but it's because I absolutely love this hobby and I want it to succeed. So my passion is really genuine and honestly 
I'm not beholden to them. So when I say a set is good or I'm enjoying a set, I truly do mean it. And if you're skipping out on Paradox Riff, that's completely fair because let's be honest, I don't know your financial situation. I don't know what you're currently working on or I don't know what uh, really excites you in the hobby. But as a long-term collector, I can say, I enjoy this set. Is it so wrong of me to say that? I really do. And it is a lot of fun, especially with these ancient and future Pokemon. I don't know why, but I just love this art. Like the style of it, it's really, really nicely well done. I, I like it a lot. And even with the amount of packs I've opened so far, I would say I've 50 booster packs into Paradox Rift. I am not bored. Usually for most sets, after you've opened up 50 booster packs, you get bored really quickly. I don't know what's about it. Maybe it's all the duplicate cards, but I'm still seeing new cards consistently. And we still haven't pulled a, a really nice secret rare from this booster box yet. So I'm hoping we get something really solid right now. We did pull the Iron Valiant card and we're gonna be giving that away. And if I pull a really cool special illustration rare here in today's video, something like the Roaring Moon Special Illustration Rare, guess what? We're gonna do another giveaway. So if we pull something really good, we're gonna give it away. So if you guys see a link in the description um, for a giveaway, then you know we definitely pull something good. Norman, Norman, that's your dad in uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, I believe. Um, the common gym leader? I don't, I don't know, normal type gym leader. I don't wanna say common type. <laughs> that He's a commoner. No, he's a normal type gym leader oh my god his name is norman all right guys I, I i knew that joke was coming but yes he's norman the normal gym type leader okay we got through that all right it's a dad joke guys it's a dad joke and now we're going to continue on but that is not um something that special norman for no you guys don't want that we're going to want something way cooler than that and i think it's got to come up can we open up a whole entire booster box of Paradox Rift without getting a special illustration rare? Yes, it can happen. There is no guarantee inside of one of these booster boxes, but that's pretty rare. I would say in general, when you open up a booster box of this, you are most likely gonna get maybe one special illustration rare, but it's never a guarantee. Same with something like Evolving Skies or any of those older sets you did not get a guarantee alt art card and that's when it gets really suckish when you open up an evolving skies booster box which is what four hundred dollars right now for a booster box and you don't even get an illustration rare you don't even get one of those alt art evolution cards at four hundred dollars a booster box you might as well just go pick yourself up an umbreon full art at that point the the moon Brion, because that's probably the same price as a whole entire booster box and if you're opening up a booster box for a chance to pull that you might as well pick it up on the singles market and if you're going to pick one up try tcg player and support the channel thank you so much guys really really appreciate all of you guys being here to watch me crack open this whole entire booster box and my hands are tired how many booster packs do we have left we got ourselves five booster packs on this side and four more on this side. So nine booster packs to go. We're over two thirds of the way through this whole entire booster box, but still a little bit of a journey left. Nine booster packs left. Can we pull a special illustration rare? Watch, after I shower this set with all of this praise, it's gonna bite me back by not giving me a very good booster box. We've only gone two illustration rare and we're well halfway through the booster box. So I might not even reach four illustration rares unless these nine final booster packs are absolutely stacked, which it doesn't look to be that way, then yeah, yeah, we might have a really poor booster box here. So let's see. Let's see if this set is truly going to burn me for all of my praise. We're going to do Knackley, Durant. Oh man, I am so serious right now, guys. I'm staring at these booster packs and Tapu Coco EX. Okay, that one is wild. Tapu Coco is in this set. Man, this is a Pokemon I haven't seen in a while. I guess there was a Tapu Coco V Max inside of the Sword and Shield set, but that just brings me back to the Sun and Moon era. I mean, that's a throwback to the Sun and Moon era. And of course, we got Norman, who that is like a Gen 3 uh, gym leader. So that's really throwing it back, too. But we're only down to a couple booster packs, and I'm still waiting. These full arts are nice, but...
but they aren't a special illustration rare, which is what we truly, truly want. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. At this point, I'm willing to take anything, you know? And you're gonna feel this way too if you ever open up a booster box, you know? When it's near the end of the booster box, you're gonna start begging for pulls where you're like, okay, okay, we don't need a Roaring Moon EX. I'm willing to take a Goldango EX. We'll take even one of the weaker ones. And we pull Roaring Moon Gold EX. That is a doubly secret rare. We got ourselves three gold stars on the bottom of this card representing how rare it is. We got the gold Roaring Moon. It's actually not that valuable of a card just because people don't love these gold cards. I would say it's almost too gaudy, you know, with these gold rare cards. It's very, very blingy. It almost looks like those fake metallic Pokemon cards that you can find on Amazon or AliExpress or Timu, one of those sketchy sites. That is really cool, but yeah. I would say I would still prefer a special illustration rare, but that might be our biggest hit from today's video. And I'm still okay with that. That is really, really solid. I have not pulled one of those gold rares in a very long time. They throw in like two or three inside of every single set and they're usually mid tier uh, hits at best. Oh my God, we pull ourselves another roaring moon. Is this card good in competitive play? I'm gonna have to look it up. I don't really know. But there we go, we got ourselves another Roaring Moon EX. All right, four more booster packs left. This is a very strong background, but we're still only two illustration rares inside of this booster box. A whole entire booster box of 36 packs with only two illustration rare, I would still say is a low roll, even though we've had a very strong background. So let's see what we get inside of our final four booster pack. This is going to be very, very interesting. I'm excited to see what comes and I may be disappointed. This might be it. We might not get another hit at this point. We probably can really only hope for like an ultra rare EX, like a basic ultra rare EX, which is nothing too spectacular. But realistically, I would like one, just one more illustration rares, one more illustration rare. And I think this um, booster box would be perfect. Latios, is there a Latios inside of this set? It would be weird because I think that's the second or third Latios I've seen, but I don't think I've seen Latios yet. It would just be weird, you know, to have a set with Latios, but not Latios, but they don't have to have both inside of a set. It's okay to separate those two Pokemon. Woo, and we do get an illustration rare and it's one that I really want actually. We got ourselves the Magby. This is one illustration rare that I just really vibe with. Check that out. That is such a cool art. Just chilling there. That is a card that I definitely vibe with. So that is a very cool illustration rare. And we're down to our final booster pack. Final booster pack, three illustration rare, which I would say is an average roll. Maybe four or five is a high roll. Two illustration rare would definitely be a low roll. So final booster pack, and I think this might be just our booster box. We got ourselves one really solid secret rare, no special illustration rare, but like I said, that can definitely happen. And I'm still very okay with this pack opening. There is our illustration rare, really solid hits. Porygon Z, Magby, as well as Minier, really solid. All of them are so gorgeous. And I would say the best hitter that we got was definitely gonna be the Gold Roaring Moon EX. It looks really good. It's not a super expensive card, but I think it's interesting enough. I know not a lot of people love the Gold Rare. It's just that the Special Illustration Rares are more popular and definitely well-deserved because the Special Illustration Rare is just really cool. But I do think there's a place in Collector's Heart for these Gold cards, so it'll be interesting. I wouldn't mind having a complete, a framed up set of these Gold cards from this series. So it's gonna be really interesting to see if I can do that. It might look really good on display and I love having cool display. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you'd like to pick up a booster box of Paradox Rift, check it out. It is coming out November 3rd. And over the next couple of months, I do think prices on sealed products of this set might be very affordable if enough people skip out on it, even though it's very underrated. So who knows, we're gonna definitely check it out. And if it gets cheaper, I will personally pick up a couple more booster boxes just to crack open because I am having a lot of fun with this set and that's what collecting is all about. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.